Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Garden Fairy. In this video, sorry, I've, I forgot uh, for a second there that uh, Irileth was running to get me in the mage. Uh, Farn? No, Fendal. I'll remember here shortly, I'm sorry been very very busy but um anyhow in the last video we made our way up to dragon's reach and we walked through the door and over to the enchantment table and ended up talking to Irileth. she had come up behind while i was enchanting well disenchanting and had demanded that I tell her what I'm doing there. And once I told her that I had news, then um, she tried to get me to tell more. And Balgriff went ahead and said that he wanted to hear what I had to say. I ended up going over to uh, Yara Balgriff, told him about everything, and I was very forthcoming about coming close to being hung, and explained about the dragon attacking when... Uh, Uh, Ulfrig was about to be executed. It didn't give me the option to ex uh, say that uh, I was the one that was on the chopping block when Aldun finally touched down and uh, started with the attacks. We are going to be starting this video up where we are going to be following uh, Irileth up to talk to the Jarl, you know, Jarl Balgriff, and we're going to have to sit back and wait until he turns to us. Once he turns to us, that's when the uh, fun of this particular quest is going to be coming in. So, here we go. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's, a dragon's been sighted, sighted nearby. nearby. You, you should, should come, come too. To... A dragon? How exciting. Where was, Where was it seen? It seen? What, what was, was it doing? I'd take, take this a bit, bit more seriously if I were you. you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So... Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irileth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. 
But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Hide helmet of no, minor alteration. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Alright. Now we're going to... I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Hmm. We are going to make sure that we have some food. I wasn't trying to take that. I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Barn were as noble. Hmm. I don't remember hearing that before. Thank you. Items two hundred and thirty seven. Okay, we should have we should have just enough to be able to handle this. The gods and dragon reach say you've aided the yard. On behalf of White One, I think. Hmm. Now, Irlef is already over that way, talking to the uh, guards. And if she's not, she's about to be. fight the dragon that's a fair question None all right now going to you use that one and we'll do fire I have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle while they're talking, what we're going to do is try and see if we can find some more of the Hello, friend. Arrows. In the market for some hunting supplies? Take a look. bow that would definitely help this was a gift so we're going to be keeping that and we'll go ahead and and, uh, let's see, that's 28, and it's 27, 
So we're probably going to end up switching to that after a bit. Thank you, Thank you very, very much, much for your business. business. See, it won't start until we actually get there. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to hope that... Nope. Bellathor's closed. I ain't asking him for much, just a few seconds. So we're going to use what we have. And we're gonna go and fight this dragon. bitter cold in this place. I have traveled far across Tamriel to serve you. Take a look. Coal cub arrow. Cork bulb arrow. Sorry. Your old lick warm sands flame. Take a look. That's the best that we I can do. I hope that right you will now. come to do business with us again. Normally, I go through and I take the food from the farms and stuff on the way here. But I think that by cutting through and getting over here plus having you know Fandal with me no signs of any dragon right like now but it sure looks like he's been here I know it looks bad but we've got to figure out what happened and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere spread out and look for survivors we need to know what we're dealing with. I do recommend keeping your bow at the ready. 
I do not recommend ever going up there to f try and fight the dragon. With the smoke going up like that, you are going to have a hard time seeing. And it'll make it to where you will not really be able to uh, see exactly where you are going. Hello, save us. It's a dragon. I'll have your head. You'll fall. Die, dragon. And for these, I will definitely make sure that you actually have a shot. Take you around I'll like see a you to show you what's going to happen with your character when you come up close to the dragon. Look at that. Use the shout uh, section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. So we're going to go down here to shout. We're going to equip. Also going to favorite. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. Or... I think you may be right. I've gone with the top one a lot, so this time, I'm going to go with, I think you may be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather tells stories about the, the, voice of the dragon born. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragon born who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on here, then. Tell us, do you believe in this Dragonborn business? I have no idea where she's at. Okay, we are going to go ahead and we're going to explore. We're going to stay in there. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen 
plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. All right, while we are searching, and quite possibly it could end up happening on the way back to White Run, we will be summoned and we'll have to follow the summons. the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balgraf will want to know what happened here. Alright, now... It's daylight, so we've got enough light to be able to see. We are going to check around for bodies. That actually went a lot quicker than what it normally does for me. And I think that's because this is the first time that I've had mage arrows. I can't believe we actually killed a dragon. So, technically, I'm thinking that I just turned Kara into a battle mage. You sure took care of that dragon. Dragonborn or not, that's good enough for me. Why, thank you. I'm proud to be your battle brother, Dragonborn. Whiterun doesn't need to fear with you on our side. At one point in time when I was first learning to play, I even came here and tried to use this area to be able to um, shoot arrows or magic at the dragon. And with all the smoke billowing up into the air, I wasn't able to see anything to be able to do it. So... That's why I'm recommending that you don't go up there or up here. And yes, I understand that I have an accent at times and that it um, goes into different um, accents from different areas. It's because I self-studied uh, acting. And I ended up getting into the habit of slipping into them. And I have issues with my memory. So sometimes the accents come out. And uh, I can't really do anything to stop them. But even when I was little, I had a... Uh, an English accent, or, um, no, it was British. I apologize. <laughs> I had a British accent, and it took me forever to, uh, get it under control. You sure took care of that dragon? And Dragonborn or not, I haven't that's lived good enough for in me. Britain. So, I don't know exactly where it would have come from. As a child, here I was, talking in a uh, British accent all the time, and apparently I still slip into it the majority of, you know, the time when I'm just, you know, relaxing, being me, 
I can't believe we actually killed a dragon. And, uh, yeah. So that's why you end up hearing different accents. I'm taking command I'm here talking. for the moment. You head back to White Run and let the Jarl know what happened. Anyhow, back to the game. We've gone through and we've checked around as much as possible. It doesn't look like any of the gods have uh, died this time around, so that's a good thing. Mm, pardon me. So what we're going to do is we are going to head back to Whiterun and we're going to let the Yarl know exactly what happened and on the way we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna collect some ingredients and once we get over there to the uh, fields and the farms we're gonna collect some of the food and that's gonna help us after we report everything to the Jarl, we're going to start uh, going through and we're basically going to do a coin grind. And the reason I say grind or even mine, okay, is because, uh, all right. For example, um, I don't know if any of you play World of Warcraft. I do. And when you're constantly going through and you're uh, farming for a particular item or supplies for the item or even for money... That was the Greybeards. <laughs> but, um... When you're going through... And... You're... Doing the same action over and over. Maybe even in a different way. Or just... Somehow... Constantly... Doing the same thing. In order to, uh get to where you either level up or you uh, end up um, getting the, all the materials you know, just that kind of thing it's called farming it's also referred to as grinding and it could also be referred to as you know just uh, I guess you could say, uh, determine repetitive. It's, there's many different ways uh, that you can refer to it as, but, uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to get down uh, hard and dirty and we're, uh, gonna start uh, grinding away to try and get the money that we need for Bree's home as quickly as possible. So there's going to be just a few different changes. And we will be going through and uh I don't know where Farindal went. Come on, Farindal, get over here. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Okay. But, uh... Lead on. Um, 
I'm gonna show you what I do in order to make money without having to be over encumbered. Well, take a look. Apologize for that. But without having to be over encumbered. And, uh, being extremely far away. Let's see. We've got more of the steel. And we're gonna have access to the, uh, um, orc, uh, I apologize, my cat's being loud. If you hear her, she's just trying to get attention. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to have access to a uh, better set of arrows but for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and keep the steel right there. Uh, copper and onyx circlet can be sold. We'll sell these. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell the leather armor. And I'm just gonna stick with what I have so far. We keep those. Now, normally, we would want to keep these because the smithing at the very very end you need the both dragon bone and dragon scales in order to create more armor and uh, more weaponry but for the early stages to kind of get you up there to where you have your first house and you have uh, everything that you need for it all the decool I suggest going ahead and selling them and then once you have Bree's home, I suggest going through and keeping the majority of them. So say there's uh, four dragon bones and four dragon scales, which I haven't really seen that, but this is just an example. Split it in half. Meaning, uh, sell two of the dragon bones and two of the dragon scales. That way you have it half and half. Half and half, um, selling and keeping will still make it to where you have what you need in stock. To be able to create the dragon armor and the dragon weaponry. While going through and making the money that you need to help you throughout the game. So for the time being, I'm going to sell all of my dragon stuff. And as you see, that increased my speech. And then I'm going to come up here, back to the ingredients, and I'm going to get the rest of those. Now, I'm not going to worry about getting any children's clothes or the um, toys for the kids because at this point I'm not fully sure what I want to, uh, as far as the kids go. I don't, don't know for sure who I want as far as the kids go. And until we have the house and the uh, house is set up with a child's room then there isn't a way to adopt a child anyway I'm gonna take all of the lock picks
and I say that is good for now. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk. Why sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. I'm curious about your homeland. The Kharif hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more. For I miss my home greatly. May your road lead you to warm sands. All right, now we're going to come over here. The road makes this one weary. There is much beauty in this place. Now, she is the one that we talk to in order to get trained for, uh, you know, in our sneak. They'll never see you coming. We've got just over 700 gold, but our goal right now is to get Breeze home. So we're not going to go through and uh, train because that's going to cost about half of what we've got. So we're going to wait. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Of course. Now we're going to talk to her. The air is... The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. How high the mountains of Skyrim rise. Okay, now we'll talk to him. Yes. The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Do you believe all this talk of dragons? Can the ancient ones truly have returned? Can I talk to her? A piece. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. It is no coincidence. May the sun keep you warm even in this land of bitter cold. Now we're gonna head on in. We are fortunate. I do suggest having a companion with you the majority of the time. At least when you're first playing. Like, if this is your first time playing, or you're, um... able to gear in order to build your money. Because, you know, this will really help you. You'll have your carrying capacity. <laughs> We're causing me. no trouble. And All you'll we have ask is to your companions. We will be back. This is not over. We're about to get another quest. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiteford. And we will pay good money for information. They're Alakir warriors. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. <laughs> Who are you looking for again? Or... Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. 
We will find her eventually. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. What have you got for Take sale? Take a look. Weapons. We are going to go ahead and start building up our orc arrows. Three hunting bones. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. take two because I don't remember if I'm able to do anything with those right now or not. Take all the fur out of here that we need. Well, that we have. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Alright. We were able to do something which means I can grab the steel. the Karanlum too. All the way through. By Izmir, you did it! You killed the dragon. Smelters. Add to smelter, you can smelt ore and raw materials into metal ingots, which are required to create and improve weapons and armor. This is one of the ways that we're going to be making some money. Now, we've got hide, iron, saddle, imperial, steel, leather, jewelry, building materials, bone mold and the slaves. Now, 
we can create our um, adventurer backpack, adventurer backpack with bedroll, animal collars. Now these are new. Okay. Animal pack, dark leather backpack, dark leather backpack with a bedroll, fine leather backpack and with bedroll. We can create our own. Ooh. We can create our own elemental arrows as long as we have the corresponding ingredients that work with it. This is awesome. Which means I don't have to spend any money in order to make them. And we should still have still have camping supplies. Alright, now, these are the building materials. And here's our jewelry. The leather. Steel, which we can't really do much. 55, 18, 125, 125, 55, 65, 55, 150. Alright. We'll go ahead with that. Imperial. We'll use the steel. Studded. We can go ahead and do that. doing this, you want to look for what is going to make you the most. Because that's going to help you get what you need very, very fast. So we'll come Got some good here. pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Can I ask what Take a look. For sale? Now we're going to come down here. Uh, that's right, we did apparel. <laughs> Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Our miscellaneous. Okay. The store though, uh, two of those. Half of those. Every one of these, as we get them, unless we are in the middle of a, a battle. <laughs> I 
we try them. Okay. Now, we're gonna head on up. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an instant. And we're going to For you, Red Legion! Let him I know. love you! I love love even a What happened and let the dragon is gone? Good. You're finally here. The yarl has been waiting for you. You? So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Sorry, I should have let it play out. The watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn? I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. First things first. I always tell him what happened, so I'm going to start off with the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do the gr these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar. Don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. 
It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? <laughs> we are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I have a sword from you. From your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. What's it mean to be Dragonborn? The only thing I remember is the old story of Tiber Septum being called Dragonborn by the Nords before they switched sides and joined the Empire. No doubt those Greybeards up at High Rothgar will talk your ear off about it. Who are the Greybeards? Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. The homestead is something completely new. So what we're going to end up doing is we are going to go through and uh, we're going to get both the house here in Whiterun and we're going to get the homestead outside of the city. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the house and we're going to get everything for that i'm going to show you what is inside both before and after every purchase and um eventually you're going to end up seeing enjoy your visit to dragon's thing. reach so, that is all we have time for for this video. Remember, it is okay to game. It is okay to be a gamer. Just please don't let it take over your life. Happy gaming, everybody.